It's no secret that first aid saves lives, but up to 59% of deaths from injuries could be prevented if first aid is given before the emergency services arrive. I went to find out one of the biggest issues that's preventing first aid from being given. Can you tell me why women are less likely to receive CPR if they were to collapse on the street? Yeah. Simon Ferris created child-friendly first aid classes and CPR dummies and goes into schools teaching first aid. So far, he's taught 190,000 pupils. I said that there's three reasons. One, people think females are less likely to have a cardiac arrest. Secondly, people are reluctant to push on uh, a female's chest because it's aggressive and some people don't register the, the, the reason why we're doing it and it can be thought that it can hurt the casualty but you can't hurt someone who's had a cardiac arrest. And three, because of hand placements and breasts, uh, people are concerned about touching uh, a female's breasts in an emergency situation. But it could be my wife that might collapse in the street and I would want someone, or my mum, I'd want someone else there to be able to do something to help them. Yeah. Or my wife or my mum being able to help someone else if someone else collapses. Libby Hayes works for the ambulance service and explains why CPR is so important regardless of the gender of the casualty. So with that one there's a lot of misconceptions about women, that women are fragile, that you're going to hurt them. There's also the side of men don't want to touch women on the chest because they don't want to expose them or feel like it's inappropriate. But in that moment, it's life over limb. You've just got to do the CPR and help them. It also doesn't help that when we're trained to do CPR, all the dummies are male figures. So you're not actually shown what a female figure is and where to put your hands, even though it's the same place. It sometimes can feel a little bit different. Julia Stubbs also teaches first aid and mentions that if more people were confident at first aid, at least one life could have been saved at the Manchester Arena bombing in 2017. And the inquest found that he probably would have survived if there'd be more people around who were able to perform CPR. Julia sheds a light onto how the world could be a safer place if more people knew first aid. And, and it, I think it's just, you know, good citizenship isn't it that we all can look out for each other and know how to help each other in those situations and if we did then more people would live unless people would have to suffer the grief of losing someone in an untimely fashion.